We're now to the Rod Laver Arena, where the four-time champion Roger Federer has just begun against uh, Bruno Pair. And already Federer with two break points. Game yeah, too many times in his career. Mm. Oh. It's a bit early to... That's uh, watching a genius at work, isn't it, really? You think, is he going to get to it, first <laughs> of all? But then that happens. Just watch it. Oh, oh. nearly as good from Pear. To break back points. <laughs> we'll take plenty more of this. Game yeah. here. Federer 2 1. Talk about effortless. Yes. <laughs> well done. And, uh, you know, Federer's. I don't know how you judge when he's nervous or not. <laughs> Game here. Exquisite shot. It's been still catch up. Catch up. Crowd are drilling. What a perfect afternoon this is. Game. But he's still about five to one. It was very interesting reading the papers today down here. So quickly onto it, to tear that little stat off and put it up on his wall. Not score though. That's the problem. Ouch. <laughs> Advantage Federer. Most extraordinary racket head speed sometimes, it really is, off Federer's racket. Game Federer. Yeah, just a little too casual. Let him back in then. Yes. It was amazing. <laughs> Roger waiting for it to move. He wouldn't move. Game in first set. Federer. Well, a quite incredible start. The first four or five games for round. The judge. Just glorious. Absolutely thumped. And then he just comes off it with the wrist and the hand up the back of the ball.
attempted lob was So where's this shot going? <laughs> Incredible. What do you call that? Sky hook? <laughs> That's a good game for the run. Too good. Well played. It's almost exhibition stuff there. Game here. So plenty of everything from pair there. Yes. <laughs> Lovely play. Really digging it. Really has flown by. So good has he been. Murray was good earlier on today, but. You know, it's different strokes for different against different yes. folks, but yeah. this is brilliant from Fed. Away he goes, and on goes Federer. Just flicking Benoit Pair away at the moment. It's impossible for isn't it, to looking to become the second man in history to win five Australian Open singles titles, Federer. This one for Hawkeye. James Kiothavong in the chair from Great Britain. <laughs> He's not the greatest fan of Hawkeye, is he? I don't think he ever will be. It was a nice moment. Juice. Super serve. This day so far on day two. It wasn't even close. It was particularly cool yesterday. Writing on the Aussie, I think. Lewis Horner. Extravagant, yeah. Good play. On the break point. Federer. Two sets and three love now, Federer. Now, just a quick mention for Donna Vekic, the youngest. Yeah. Two-hander across the, the corner here, as it were. Not up. 
Yes, my reading of it would be. I got the treatment it deserved. Yeah, the one person I beat who I actually felt sorry for beating was Arthur Ashe. Wow. You felt sorry for beating That's how much you revered him. We knew all about the mission, knew him very well. And I beat him out there. And I really felt... Pedro is walking. It's on the line. Game seven. Super performance by Andy Murray first up on the Rod Laver Arena today. Majestic from Federer. Just the seven games conceded. He beat him at home in Basel. Back end of last year, he stumped him away from home in Melbourne. Still the crowd's favourite. Well, Roger, your first match of the season. How would you rate your form today? Looked pretty good on this end. Look, I'm happy. Uh, Bruno was a good player, good talent. We see that. So, obviously, then I haven't played a match uh, this season quite yet. So, I'm um, not sure. And that's why you're always relieved when you're through to the first one. And uh, it's a great atmosphere again. Great day to play tennis. So, I'm happy I'm sticking around for a bit. A little different approach this year. Normally, you do play a warm up tournament or two coming in. What was the thought behind not playing and coming in fresh like this? Well, look, I've had a few busy years now since I have kids and uh, just wanted to cool down a bit. Um, it's, ni it's nice to enjoy the off-season. This one obviously was two, year, uh, two uh, weeks uh, longer than the ones we've had in the past. And uh, I went to play six exhibition matches in South America, which was uh, an amazing experience. And then after that, I just thought, don't need to overdo it this year. Um, good preparation, good workout is going to be more important at this stage than playing every tournament. So I hope it's the right decision. We'll see how it goes. But I'm confident in my play, and I'm looking forward to the next match. We saw your... Uh we saw your daughters. Oh. Saw your daughters sitting just under there while you were warming up. They watched the first couple of games in your airplane. How are they coming along? That's obviously a huge part of your life now. Uh, how's how's that aspect of Roger Federer's world? It's nice. It's beautiful. Um, we're more educational than now than ever. So a lot of no, you're not allowed to do this right now. So it's uh, it's tricky, but we're managing and uh, they're having the best time. They love Australia. Um, Love the kangaroo and the koala bear and all that stuff. So it's just a lot of fun having them uh, here with me because I know it's a long trip. And then having them, you know, sit there sometimes when I come out and walk, uh, walk out for the matches. It's a, it's a great feeling of being here as a player and as a dad as well. As parents, who's the tougher one, you or Mirka? Who's the one who tells them no more? I wonder. Uh, she spends a bit more. She spends a bit more time maybe with them because I have to go out and practice a bit. But. Uh, she, she's tough. She's going to be tough. I, I'm tough too. I have an easier time, I feel. My job's a little easier. So, I don't know. We try hard. That's all we, I can say. <laughs> well, let's, let's turn back to your career for one more question and I'll let you go. You, you've set so many records in this sport. Last year, you secured the most weeks at number one, which was a big one. Are there any other records that you have in your mind that you'd like to achieve this year or in the coming years? No, definitely that number one record was somewhat uh, incredible to achieve, especially when hand-in-hand -hand was winning Wimbledon. Um, I never really aimed for it, you know, and then when it stopped, it was one week short of the record, of Pete's record, a friend of ours. So it was uh, a bit crazy, you know, because I guess I could have chased it looking ahead, but I never do. I always look, um, you know, the long term, and I was like, if I play well, I might get back to it, and that's what happened, so that's why last year was so amazing. And then this year, 
I mean, I got the four slams, I got the weeks and the record of slams. I don't know how much there's more to achieve. I like to play, I like the rivalries, and if there's records broken along the way, that's obviously amazing, but it's not the only reason why I'm playing tennis. Well, I saw Chris Everett and Martina Navratilova walking around the grounds here. They've won 18 majors, both of them. You've won 17, so maybe you can tie them. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, there you go. See, there's many things to look forward to. Um, compared to the women, I'm nowhere, so I still have a long way to go. <laughs> well, you've got a long way to go in this tournament if you want to lift another trophy, but comfortably through today, well done. Great to see you, Raj. Appreciate it. How blessed is this ball off the court?